2K Sports. Game Sports here to present you the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. It's Game 4, and one that could go down in the books. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will join us momentarily from the sidelines. D.A., it's all yours. When the Pacers traded away Paul George, many around the league expected a total rebuild. Instead, Indiana has been a consistent playoff team. They don't have so-called big names on this roster, but they do have veterans who stayed humble, who bought in completely, and who come to play every night. And with young talent that's still on the rise, there's reason for optimism going forward in Indiana. Kevin? A lot of optimism. Thanks, DA. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Young and Herter make up the backcourt, and it's Len in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Pacers, Sabonis and Turner up front. Oladipo is the two with Warren playing small forward. And it's McConnell in at the one spot. So Atlanta will get the first possession. How young. Here's Collins. Yes, that goes in. Collins has got the opening basket of the game for the Hawks. Yeah, that's where John Collins sets up shot down in the paint. Quick and athletic. Able to corral the miss. Here's McConnell. Pass to Sabonis. Walls not loose. Young with the steal. And to get open is Lynn. And he gets it to go. Trey Young not backing down from the physical defense on that play. There's the pass to Warren. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot. And great concentration. Now here's Lynn. Young taking his time here. Six to shoot. No good there. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone. Well, they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. To Oladipo. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Becoming much more sure-handed as a ball handler. Oladipo showing the moves there. Here's Young. The rebound by Turner. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Back to Warren. Top Sabonis. Here's McConnell. A miss that time. Would have put him up for Atlanta. They've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Shots good from Young. Shooters tend to be hungry, but this time Herder finds an open teammate. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Oladipo with the ball. He's picked up by Collins. Passes it to Sabonis. Poked away. Here's Herder. Guarded by Oladipo. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Young's got seven points. This is Trey Young's game right there. Rise and fire. And these shots are helping out the offense. So the Pacers call timeout. Their first of the game. On the floor. 
just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Bitadze, the pass to Brogdon. To the inside. Pocket six. Holiday with the three. Atlanta with the rebound. Left side, Turner. And it's slammed in by Turner. That's impressive for Turner to get up off of the deck so quickly there. Nice vertical shown on that dunk. Holiday, the pass to be touched. Outside, Lamb. And they get it. No good that time. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. They come off the loss on Friday. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. One oh two left to play in the first. Parker looking around. Chalk up two there. How about that? Parker taking the contact and still connecting on the tough field goal attempt. That's some strength. The Hawks shooting their first foul of the night. The Pacers making a switch here. Nick Dermott's checked in. playing for Coach K in college. He's got that pedigree as well as a great attitude. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And the Pacers call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Now here is Holiday. 40 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The Hawks leading by 12. Pass to Parsons. Here's Reddish. Makes it off the glass. Reddish has got his second bucket of the night. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. Here's Leaf. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. It's Turner high post. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their transition game has been in full effect. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinal. And for the Hawks, this has been the game they've wanted to have. Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack, as soon as they got the ball, constantly in transition. Pacers trail by 14. And so in the game for the Hawks, they've got Jones. Parker out there with Chandler Parsons. Then it's Reddish. And it's Turner in at the point. Has to be Johnson. Back to Brogdon. Four on the shot clock. The kick out to Holiday. And the Hawks making a change here. Young's checked in.
Inside, here's Jones, and Jones with the stuff. Uh, well, we know that Trey Young is a phenomenal passer, which is why you just can't leave him open like that. McDermott kicks to Brogdon. Back to McDermott. Just five to shoot. 20 feet out. And it's off the back rim. No good. Turner with it. Brogdon picks him up. The pass to Reddish. Now here's Parker. Guarded close. Got a hand on it. Logged in the pass to Holiday. And he drops it in from the low post. Here's Reddish. Shoots over Brogdon. Reddish's shot is good. Reddish has got six. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Timeout called the Pacers. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Lens checked in for Jones. John Collins comes in for Parker. Hunters checked in for Turner. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Reddish. Oladipo misses. The Hawks leading by 16. Let's a floater go. It's hauled in by Warren. From 17 feet out, a second chance effort. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the foul. This goes against Atlanta. Oladipo, a good free throw shooter, so well served to seek out contact and get to the line. The Pacers shooting their first free throws of the game. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Now, Oladipo was the most improved player in 2018 his first season with the Indiana Pacers after being the second pick in the 2013 draft Jeremy Lambs checked in for Malcolm Brogdon Oladipo hits them both the Atlanta leading by 14 young outside that shot no good nice D from Warren the kick out to Oladipo. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area. And the defense gets away with one there. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another, Greg. And it goes down two points. That ability to attack off the bounce, one of the real strengths of Oladipo's game. Young for three. Hope they get it back. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Or in the pass to Turner. Now here's Oladipo. He has six. Shot clock at six. The shot by Turner, no good. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now, here's Oladipo. Back to Sabonis. Dishes it to Oladipo. A floater, and he lays it up and in. Oladipo's got six here in this quarter. That's a nice release from Victor Oladipo. Amazing at guiding that floater into the rim there. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks.
Parsons checked in for Hunter. Atlanta with the ball. Collins finds Young. Back to Collins. Herder passes to Young. Fires the three. Sabonis grabs the ball. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Oladipo. It will go down, and the Hawks' lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from Sabonis. Well, Sabonis can play there on the block. That's where he did a lot of damage in college, so him working inside, that's a good sign. Now, here's Collins. Doesn't go that time. Nice D from Sabonis. Oladipo against Young. Outside, Lamb. Back to Oladipo. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Well, no doubt that Victor Oladipo is a guy that this franchise is leaning on, so showing some leadership here. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Herter, covered by Lamb. And Herter gets it to go. Here's Oladipo. He's got 10. Outside, Lamb. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Chandler, how were you guys able to come in here and get off to this kind of start? Uh, they're a great team. The big thing for us is just ball movement, playing unselfish, and doing all the little things that free up other people for shots. Cutting, screening, and flaring, doing all those little things. We're moving the ball really well, and we're getting out in transition early. Channel looking good so far, my man. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Looking at the Hawks, with a chance to take a commanding 3-1 lead in this series, they've got their foot firmly on the gas pedal tonight. A sensational first-half performance for them. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how Atlanta played? You know what, Ernie, I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starters came out, Man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. Kenny, what did you think about Indiana? To me, they looked out of sync shooting the basketball. Under 40% for the first half. Some of it was poor shot selection, but mostly it just looked like they were out of rhythm. For the second half, they need to push more for buckets in transition. Get to the foul line a little bit more. Try to get back in the flow. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. You look at Victor Oladipo in this game. He has been everywhere. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And we welcome you back to game four on 2K Sports. Oladipo is the two with Warren playing small forward. Sabonis and Turner up front. And it's McConnell in at the point. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Now, here's Hunter. No points in the game yet for him. Out to the right wing. Land against Turner. Shot clock at five. The Pacers pull it in. McConnell scanning the floor. 
Oripo against Young. Oripo misses. And so Young will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got four rebounds in this game. Rebound, Atlanta. Collins has got rebound number five here tonight. He gets that one. Herder's got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Hawks. Well, getting to the right spot so important in the offense, and Herder positioned himself well in the fast break. And Turner kicks to Oladipo. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Alex Lund picks one up. This is where Oladipo goes in and has no fear of drawing some contact. Nice job of getting through the defense. The Pacers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. No good on the free throw. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Damian Jones is checked in for Alex Lund. Parker comes in for Collins. Reddish, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And it's Turner in for Young. Good on the second free throw. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Turner dishes to Parker. That one's not going to go. So Indiana will take it the other way. It's stolen by Reddish. Yo, Evan, Evan. At the elbow, Jones. Five to shoot. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout? and reiterate what he talked about at halftime. The shot by Turner, no good. Pacers trail by 13. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. McDermott putting it down, maybe surprising the defense a little bit, but showing some mobility getting to the rim. Here's Parker. It doesn't go for him. Parker's gone just one of five from the field. Passes it to Oladipo. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Oladipo's got 13 points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, having an easy bucket in the paint. It's stolen by Oladipo, and even three-on-three -three break. A floater, the rebound by Turner. The Hawks leading by nine. Over in the corner, Reddish. And it's Turner off the drive, and it's slammed in by Turner. I know he seems to play constantly in second gear, but that's the comfort zone where Evan Turner can get the damage done. Timeout called the Pacers. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. comes in for Victor Oladipo. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Parsons checked in for Hunter. Holiday, the pass to Leaf. Parsons against Lamb. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Indiana again, missing. And so it's Parsons with it. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Parker up top. Parker double team. Stolen by Brogdon. And Brogdon with a clear path to the rack. Plays it in off the breakaway. Brogdon's got his first two points. Talk so much about Brogdon and just how smart a player he is. So an interesting one to watch. Here's Parsons. And Parsons slams it in. Total letdown. He can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Here's Leaf. 
He's still scoreless so far in this one. Four on the clock. Here's Lamb. Leaf controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Brogdon kicks to McDermott. Pass to Brogdon. And he gets the bucket. Brogdon's got four points this quarter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Parker with it. Kept alive. Jones. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. You know, with the entire series in the balance here, I mean, you're certainly grateful in a situation like this for instant replay. I mean, to make sure they get the call right. they're going to switch the call there is no doubt and looking at the replay that he got it off in time well it's good they decided to take another look at it i know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow but when you have it there you gotta use it and so it's atlanta holding on to an 11 point cushion as we get ready to take a break they have made it very tough to get a shot off against them their defense has been stifling we've got more in store for you right after this and a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up. And that cut was wide open. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. Young and Herter make up the back. Collins at power four with Len at center. And it's Parker in at the small forward. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to Sabonis. He dishes it to Warren. It's not going to go for him. Good D by Parker. The Hawks leading by 13. The pass to Len. Parker drives in. Young in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Pass to Sabonis. Outside turn. A three from Warren. Rebounded by the Hawks. Collins has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Young. And the layup is good. Young's got four points this quarter. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Here's Warren shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Jabari Parker. Uh, Warren is so hungry to score every night that he's going to draw the attention of most defenses. Such a tough cover. Free throw good from Warren. Well, T.J. Warren believes he can score, and he's done it a lot. Every year he ups the ante and wants to add more to his game. Defensively, maybe a little more focus. 
And Indiana making a change here. Oladipo's checked in. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Hunter's checked in for Parker. That one is no good. The Hawks leading by 14. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Hunter no good. And it's Warren with the ball for the Pacers. And there's Oladipo on the assist by Warren. 15 points for Victor Oladipo. That's yeah, a smart pass as T.J. Warren does a solid job finding the open man. Outside Cowan. Addition out to Hunter. In the corner. Herter with it. Over Oladipo. Herter. No good. Aces trail by 12. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. against Young. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Hawks leading by 12 to the left side wing. Hunter from outside off the mark. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Lynn with the block. Well, putting the wingspan to great use, Lynn throws that one away. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Oladipo, the pass to Sabonis. Stolen. Here's Herder. And finished off by Collins. Way too easy for Collins. With ideal positioning, he's a real problem out there. Timeout called the Pacers. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Jordan player of the game, Trey Young. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Nate McMillan had some advice from the team during that last break. He told his guys, that team is not going to give it to us. We have to take it. That means staying aggressive and playing with no fear. Kevin, back to you. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're ahead by 12. We've got 155 left in the fourth. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Shoots from 12. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. This guy's got a great nose for the offensive glass, and I like how he used those long arms that time to reach up, snag that rebound. Now, here's Odi. Defense is right there. That's good. It's his seventh May basket in 14 tries. up top. He's guarded by Brogdon and he makes that one. 15 points for Trey Young. 
Young working hard on the defensive end that time. Oladipo outside. With some arc. Eight for 15 with that made basket. But he's not satisfied yet. And entering the final countdown. Game four effectively decided here, guys. This is just a tremendous accomplishment for the Hawks. The bench gave him a big lift in this game. And listen, Kevin. Anytime your reserves can perform at a level that high it puts you in an excellent position to win the game and you know looking back in all the contributions tonight it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Trey Young and guys I just felt he was tremendous tonight his energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends and good that time and, and that's a great play on the backboard for him I mean it's what we expect all his second chance points do not come by accident Nice D from Warren. Maybe at this point, not much of a chance for a comeback. Yeah, you got a better chance of walking through a lion's den with pork chop underwear on. <laughs> well, at this point, they're just trying to get back in sync. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They grab this series by the throat, Greg. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You could see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over with. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jabari, looks like you're getting back in stride, and you have certainly had adversity with the knee injuries the last few years. How have you been able to battle through them? It's been tough, to tell you the truth, but, you know, the race is not one to the swift, but the one to endure, so I'm trying to keep that motive. You have certainly endured and thrived, Jabari. Thanks for your time. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.